Hi, welcome to the best university, University of Mary Haddon Balor. We bring this series about education in America to help prospective students keen on going to the USA. This is a product of hard work by our team of professionals and the faculty members who visited various universities in America. This will help to create an understanding among the students about the universities and university education of the USA. In this episode, we focus on University of Mary Haddon Balor. The University of Mary Haddon was set up through special powers derived through the Republic Texas Act of 1845. The objective of the university is to inculcate the sense of strong leadership, service attitude and faith in the world community. Further, it extends qualitative education, individual attention and extensive scholarship opportunities to the students. It also targets to inculcate obeisance to the Baptist perspective. The College of Business has about 450 undergraduates and about 350 graduate students. Now the students from India make up most of our graduate population. We have two programs in our graduate, which is what we take in our basically your fifth and sixth year. The first is a Master of Business Administration, but the most popular program is the Master of Science in Information Systems. And that program, uh, while the college dates back to 1845, we've been around a long time, and our College of Business dates back 50 or 60 years, the MSIS program dates back about 15 years. It started in the late 90s. One of the things we're known for is our personal small classes, our personal attention. Uh, one thing that makes us unique is that our professors know our students by their name. They won't be known by an ID number, but they'll actually know, get to know each of our individual students. Uh, we have approximately 3,900 students here on our campus, of which about 700 of them are graduate students. Our international students make up probably the biggest part of our graduate students, with our Indian students making up about 300 of our international students. Teaching in university is based on Christian religious education. It seeks to emerge as a single point destination for students of Southwest for Christian religious education. It is the oldest college in the Texas state, enjoying student strength of 3,700 from 27 countries. More than 90% of the students get financial aid in one way or the other. We have three doctoral programs and then several master's programs. So we have a master's of arts and counseling, uh, a master's of business administration degree, and then we have a master's of education degree, a master's of science in education and exercise science, also a master's of science in education in sport administration. Um, as I said earlier, this, the program we have all of our international students in almost is the Master's of Science in Information Systems. And then we also have a Master's of Science in Nursing program. About 675 uh, graduate students on campus that are spread throughout um, those seven graduate programs. There's about 20 programs, yeah, there's, there's, seven, there's seven degrees and about 20 programs. The university offers more than 90 undergraduate degree programs, seven master degree programs, and three doctoral degree programs. The university has McLean College of Business, College of Christian Studies, College of Education, College of Humanities and Services, College of Nursing and College of Visual and Performing Arts. The University of Mary Hardin Baylor offers graduate programs through the School of Graduation. Most talented teaching staff teaches the students using the most modern methods of teaching. The university conducts evening and weekend classes in Central Texas and the adjoining areas for the benefit of the employed. Our undergraduate students, they have class mostly during the day and then they have lots of activities at night. And so since our international graduate students have class sometimes in the afternoon, um, but almost always at night, we want to make sure that there are opportunities that they can get involved in that aren't scheduled when they have class. And so. It's been really great to see our administration respond and be able to change my title, hire more staff for our office in order to allow me to, to help interact with these students more and more. Because it's a combination of both business and science. 
meaning that instead of being a pure computer science degree or a pure management degree such as an MBA, this is more targeted toward the executive in the information systems era. So therefore, they will have some courses in business like business process management and enterprise systems and also some courses in sciences. So we teach Java programming, and uh, SQL Server and other uh, more modern technologies. The largest courses of study are our nursing program, our business program, and our education program, but we have more than 50 different undergraduate majors as well as uh, master's programs and doctorate programs. Townsend Memorial Library of the University houses thousands of print and non-print materials, periodicals, and has computers and state-of-the-art technological gadgets. There are several documents useful for studying and research purposes in the library. It has several audio and videos on various subjects. It stocks books and documents in about 63 languages. The University of Mary Hart and Baylor is divided into nine academic units. Now, seven of those are colleges, so we have studies in the areas, for example, of nursing and humanities and sciences. And of course, one of those is the College of Business. The library is also one of our academic units. We have a robust library, has a lot of uh, both online and physical books. And students can go there uh, up until midnight and even during finals time, the, the library is open 24 hours a day. It's a great place to study for students to uh, get ready for their examinations. Our university dates back, um, you know, obviously, uh, what, 170 some years. and. Uh, we, uh, we have a common heritage with a sister university called Baylor. We are the University of Mary Hardin Baylor. And uh, they split in the 1860s into a men's and women's college. We, for about 100 years, were the women's college. But we became co-ed, boys and girls, in the 70s and became a university in the late 70s. And we have since become a full-blown university, and we have um, multiple doctoral programs and many master's degree programs. And our, our graduate school here, um, overall, with all of our programs, now comprises about 20% of our university. The university has a great sports culture. Male students play baseball, basketball, golf, football, soccer, and tennis, while female students participate in basketball, golf, soccer, softball, tennis, volleyball, and so on. University Alumni Association strives to preserve the bond between the university and its old students. It conducts its programs in tune with the university objectives. Gerald Freeman, Miriam Ye Ferguson, Chris Ellis, Nathan, Molly White were famous alumni of the university. Course opportunities they have um, and they work very closely then with our registrar's office to ensure um, what's available also with our English second language office to know what course offerings are available. Um, and then the students get the answer from one person um, and they're not having to question if it's valid or not when there's one person that has the answer for them. Committed to preparing students for lives of leadership, service, and faith-informed discernment in a global society. Um, we pride ourselves on a very low faculty to student ratio, 16 or 17 to 1 for every student. Um, and uh, we're committed to broad-based scholarship and personal attention. And that's, that's really what sets us apart from, from a lot of universities. Not so big. And that's one thing I like about this university. I visited the campus of like, like two big universities in Texas. Uh, they may be one or more, but uh, te Texas A&M and University of Texas at Austin.